Hello everybody, this is Jesse Bourne coming to you live from the workshop. And Josh, what the deal is, is we we have a good system with the tape, okay? The tape for making the seat chest works well. So what we do is we use double-sided tape and we stick it down to the pallet here. But the problem with the tape is that it's super inconsistent and sometimes it rips up and it just destroys the parts, chews them up and spits them out. And it's very tough to get it off of the parts if it sticks to the parts. And it's tough to get it off of this pallet if it sticks to the pallet. Horrible. Or ones like this. Yeah, where see? Where the bottom layer gets not cut. See that? Same that's thing. because that's because the part came off or the, we got some movement because the tape wasn't holding it super well. So the whole tape idea just doesn't, it it's works but not very efficiently. We right. could have something where we just flip a switch and they're locked down and you flip it and they're free. Right. That would be ideal. So, so far we've got this set up with a channel cut through here. We've got the piping set up all the way to this extremely fancy vacuum jig 4000. Well, ju just, just the vacuum actually. And so once we turn on the air with a couple of hoses, it'll make a, a suction in this pocket. This whole thing's gonna be flipped over and then we're gonna machine um, little uh, sections for the wood to be clamped down and, and all that. Anyway, we're just gonna test it out now and see what happens. Okay, so Josh is about to export a program that is probably not going to work. It's already in. Well, well, it's definitely, the program's going to work. Oh, we're all ready to run? Well, I, mean, I didn't call it off. So, uh, it, the day hasn't been going exactly fantastic from a uh, production standpoint. But the good news is we, you know, we learned lots of ways not to do stuff. Like, for instance, don't put the... Uh, the hole so close anywhere from <laughs> <laughs> 0.6 to 0.75 variance so that when you go to face it off it cuts into your I know we had to quarter take inch quarter whatever it is pipe yeah fitting. we had to take like 200 thousands off the face of this to get it to be flat okay maybe it wasn't 200 it was like 150 we had to take 150 off to get it to be flat because it was so wavy just over and over and over we kept setting it down another 10 and facing it off it was so uneven so bad so hack just because this stuff doesn't come a standard thickness so you have you think it's flat but then you find another low spot somewhere else and then these screws were holding it up in places and we we fixed that problem but just Okay, it's the end of the day now. Everything's uh, kind of run down, getting ready to close up the shop for the night. It's been a good Friday, but uh, once again, didn't make it as far as I wanted to. Um, but I can say that I do think this is uh, gonna be a huge improvement over what we were doing with the double-sided tape. Now, the double-sided tape was working, but it was producing some scrap parts, and that's just really not good for the workflow because you have to go and make another part and that takes you you know a couple hours sometimes just to set everything up cut the parts you need take them you know and go back to what you're doing so um this shows promise and we we're able to do some testing on this and it looks like it's going to work um of course we made some mistakes because we haven't done this before so just depths of uh, uh seals and the underside for all the you know the piping to get to here and all the channeling um, stuff was just slowing down the computer the fusion was going slow on the computer you know just little things that you don't plan for um, take a look at this brass fitting here 
we faced off into this brass fitting, which that actually is, is, is not a problem for us, but you know, that's not the thing we didn't plan for. Now we can't really face down deeper because that brass fitting is going to be in our way and we're going to lose the seal there. Live and learn. It was a good day and uh, we'll have this up and running pretty soon. But anyways, for everybody waiting for a pirate box, this is what we're going through to get to them. We'll have them out soon, but uh, you know, there's lots of little things to to take into consideration when you're doing a production of 100 boxes and you need to make them all efficiently. So thanks for watching the video. We'll have another vlog coming out next week. Make sure and tune back in for that. Y'all have a good day and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.